guys, this is Phoebe from Tucson. I'm going to talk to you right now about four different yoga postures that most people do incorrectly and end up injuring themselves. I'm going to show you how to do these postures correctly so you can build the strength that you want and also prevent any of those injuries from happening. Woohoo! Strong arms, strong core, strong back. These are all the benefits of the Chaturanga Pose, also known as Low Push-Up, that I was just doing, and I'm going to teach you how to do correctly. So let's walk through it. Spread your fingers super wide like rays of sunshine. Place them shoulder distance on your mat. Make sure your middle fingers are parallel to one another. Now you can do this posture with your knees lifted or dropped. I'll show it with knees dropped to start. Walk your knees back. Let your hips lower forward and your shoulders shift forward over your fingernails so your hips and shoulders are in one straight line. Engage your core, squeeze your belly button in. Toenails are down. From here, bend your elbows. A lot of times people will bend their elbows out to the side. That's so bad for your wrists and your elbows. Make sure you're bending your elbows and pointing them straight back towards your toes. Squeeze them into your sides, but not under your ribcage, just along the side. And then lower down to your low push-up. Another place people often mess up is they let their shoulders go lower than their elbows. Also not good for the shoulders. So as you lower, make sure that you're only going halfway down and your triceps stay completely parallel. Now you can do this posture also with your toes tucked under and your knees straight, feet hip distance apart. This will be a little bit more challenging, more of a core workout. So in that case, legs straight and strong. Look forward about six inches, don't look down. Looking forward, shift forward, shoulders over fingernails. Bend your elbows straight back. Don't go too low, hover, breathe. Press back up, that's your chaturanga. The next posture I'm going to talk to you about is up dog, which comes usually right after a chaturanga when you're in a vinyasa class. So the two go hand in hand pretty well. To do this posture correctly, we'll start from our chaturanga since you now know how to do it. Knees lifted or drop, shifting forward, down, up dog, keep shifting forward, point your toenails back, separate your feet hip distance, lift your heart, straighten your arms, try and drag your feet forward through your hands. Now a lot of times what people do wrong is they slump onto the ground like this and they're like, yay, I'm doing such a beautiful back bend. Well, it's really, really bad for the back to do that. So. Make sure that your legs are hip distance and you're instead being strong. Your hips, your knees, and your thighs are off the ground completely here. If that feels challenging for you, come right here, do cobra. It's not worth having a back injury. Up dog, shoulders are right over your wrists. Palms, knuckles are pressing down. Shoulder blades squeezing together. Straighten your legs. Chair pose is our third posture. You'll see chair pose a lot in all different styles of yoga, vinyasa, hatha, even your Bikram. To do chair pose correctly, you've got two options with the feet. I'll talk about them both, but first, we're going to talk about doing it with feet together. So feet together, both toes pointed straight ahead, angles together as well. Bend your knees super deep like you're sitting back into a chair that's too small for you. Then bring the weight into your heels. It should feel like you're going to fall backwards. That means you're doing it correct. Feet together, knees together, so the knees are pointing right over your middle toes. Lean back in your heels, lift up all ten toes, even your pinky toe, get it to participate. Then from here, look down, make sure you can see your big toes. If you can't, lean further back. Then from here, practice twerking for a second, we don't want to do that. Instead, point your tailbone down towards your heels, engage your core. Lift up, get your heart erect, spine nice and straight. Keep that, bend, see if you can sink your hips lower. From here, you've got a couple options with the arms. You can bring them into cactus arms. I am from Tucson after all. Or you can reach your hands high to the sky. Make sure your shoulders are sinking down, not up towards your ears. You don't want any neck tension. Abs in, tailbone to heels, lean back, smile, love chair pose. Second option is to do this with your feet hip distance. Oftentimes we think our hips are really wide. Your hips are usually a little bit more narrow than you think. And you're not measuring from your outer hips, you're measuring right here from where your hips come into your pelvis. So if you're taking feet hip distance apart, whenever you bend your knees, the tricky part is that you have to make sure your knees don't fall in or fall out. 
You want to bend your knees so they point right over your middle toes. Everything else is about the same. Tailbone points to heels, toes lift, spine lifts, abs engage, arms of your choice, so that you can breathe comfortably. The benefit to doing knees apart is that if you have any low back injuries, this can be a little bit more stable for your back. Benefits to chair pose are really strong glutes, strong hamstrings, strong quads, and a nice warm up and strengthening for your lower back. Don't let chair pose make you miserable. Enjoy these sensations. Last but not least, the fourth pose I'm gonna to talk to you about is Warrior One or Virabhadrasana One, also known as Warrior A. To do this posture correctly, start standing at the front of your mat. Make sure both toes are pointing straight ahead. Bring your left knee into your chest. Step your left foot way back behind you. Now, if it already feels hard to balance, look down. Notice if you have your feet on a tightrope. That's gonna be really wobbly. Instead, step your left foot slightly to the left, so it's more like you're on two railroad tracks rather than on one tightrope. Right toes point straight ahead. Back toes point slightly towards the top left corner of your mat. Back leg is straight, front knee is bent. Both heels are on the ground. Now pay attention to your hips here. Often in this posture, you'll see people do this with their hips slightly pointed away from the front of their mat. Really important here to rotate your back foot enough that both hip bones are pointed towards the front of your mat. So you're actively moving your right hip back, your left hip forward in this posture. Front knee is going to be bending. You never want to bend your front knee past your ankle. That's super bad for the knee. Make sure that your shin is vertical. Lift your pubic bone up. Press strong and straight in your front leg. Engage your core without sticking your ribcage out. Keep it strong. Soften shoulders and then reach the hands high to the sky. This is a strong stance. It requires effort from your legs. It's going to work out your glutes, your thighs, your hamstrings. It's also going to be really good for your core and to hold your shoulders up takes some shoulder work as well. While you're here, keep sinking deep, breathing. Traditionally, the gaze is up. You can also play with interlacing your hands. If you want to practice these four postures that I just taught you, your low push-up chaturanga, your up dog, your chair pose, or your warrior one, your drasana one, I'm going to show you how to link them all together so you can practice them as a flow. Starting at the front of your mat, inhale, reach high. Exhale, slide, bend in the knees, fold forward. Bend your knees enough to put your hands on the ground and step back to a top of a push-up pose. Make sure you're setting up already for your chaturanga. Fingers are spread wide, knees are lifted or dropped. Low push-up, shift forward, bend your elbows, look forward, find triceps parallel to the floor. Point your toes, inhale, up dog, try and drag the legs forward, lift your heart, straighten your legs, breathe. Exhale, press back. This is downward dog, we didn't go over this, just work it for now. Right away, step your right foot forward between your hands. Spin your back heel down to the ground, step it to the left if that helps your body square your hips. Inhale, rise up, make sure left hip is moving forward, right hip is moving back, engage your core, lift your pubic bone, straighten your back leg. Big inhale, big exhale. Step forward, one giant step, chair pose. Feet together, knees together, make sure you can see your big toes, engage your core, lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, step back with the right foot, we're doing warrior one on the second side. Check out your back leg, heel is down. Leg straight and strong, front knee bending. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back to that top of the push-up pose. Shift forward, chaturanga, you know this. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back. There you go, that's your little flow of our four postures. Play with them, make sure you do them correct. Don't get any injuries in your body. Thanks for watching, guys.